What's up, YouTube? Erod212 here with another CGC unboxing. What did we get in this time? All right, so that's time again. We got another nice CGC order in. Uh, let's take a look at the grades. Um, let's see what we got. I believe this is a modern order. So uh, let's see how we did here. Right, we'll start from here. All right, first book up, Star Wars number 42. Uh, first Boba Fett. Book looks pretty nice. Um, hoping for an 8 0, probably a 7 0. It's got, I'll show it to you in, in a minute. But let's take a look at it. And we've got a 7.5. I'm happy with that. It had some ink bleed through on the back, which is common with a lot of these issues. Um, it had a little tanning and some few issues on the corners and stuff like that. But all in all, 7.5 on this book, I'll take every day. I'll jump on that. Uh, see what we got next. All right. Um, this was from. Um, no, no, this isn't it. Yeah, no. But uh, Thought 337, first beta rate bill, new stand edition. Um, let me just turn it that way here. Yeah. And let's see what we got here 9.4. Very nice. White pages, high grade book, you know. Really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's take a look at the next book. Let's see what we got here, baby. Come on. Let's see this beauty. Aha, very nice. Amazing Spider-Man number 361. Uh, first pair of Carnage. Tough book to get in an I and A because of the bindery tears. Um, but let's see. 9.6. All right. Still a really good book in a 9.6 right now. Um, great book, actually. Can't wait to see what Woody Harrelson looks like in that, man. I think uh, that's going to be really good. Uh, Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number eight, a book that is finally seeing its due. This in the uh, ASM 252, finally, are getting their just due. And let's see. 9.6 white pages. Take that. Take that any day of the week, man. Those are nice books. Nice, nice books. Oh, let's see this one here. Oh, okay. Uh, Wolverine number one. This is that uh, banana variant, the C2E2 exclusive. Uh, John Tyler Christopher. I picked up, I think it was like 10 of these. I gave a couple to the New York Warriors, you know, at cost. And then I sold some really cheap before this book really spiked. Uh, ran some raffles right out of C2E2. Um, no regrets, but this is the this is the first one I've graded for myself, I believe. And let's see, nine point eight, very nice. Uh, and this this is a thick book, so I, I was worried about the stock and just uh, the spine on this. But nine point eight, I'll take that. That stays in the collection probably. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number two fifty two. I've got a bunch of these raw, raw copies, so I decided to send one or two in just to see. Uh, this one was probably one of the higher graded ones that I had. And let's take a look at this. A hot 9.6. Very, very nice. Yep, and this is one it's color breaking spy tick. Uh, I probably can't see it. It's tough to see. But yeah, it's right there. That one little tick. Prevents this beauty from being a 9.8. Let's see. All right. Let's see what this bad boy is here. Yeah. Oof. All right. So what if 105 um, is the first appearance of Spider-Girl? And I found this, if you watch one of my videos, I found this in a flea market for a dollar. Uh, it looked really, really clean. So I, I found this and the Spider Girl Zero, which is like the reprint of this. Uh, both of them for a dollar on a table that had hardly any books. 
but uh, took it, pressed it, cleaned it, thought it had a good shot, a, a decent grade, and it came back at 9.6. Um, I believe this book is averaging like $400 now at 9.6. So, dollar book. They're out there. Just got to really look hard now. It's not as easy as it used to be. I go to flea market and there's a bunch of guys just hunting comics now. Not like it used to be where you. There was just the same few guys. Uh, Marvel team up 141. I got this on the cheap. I was hoping for an 8.0 on this. Um, but let me see. 7.0. Okay. I got to look at the greatest notes on this. 7.0. All right, guys. Let's take a look at the next book here. Ooh, X Men number four. First Omega Red, a book that spiked for a while with all the possibilities and rumors of Omega Red, Red being the first mutant shown in the MCU, which didn't happen. But uh, nine point six. All right, I'll take it. I prefer nine eight, but I'll, I'll take the nine six. What else do we have here? Uh, we got five more books, guys. Okay. Wolverine Limited Series number one. So a uh, big shout-out to my man, Everett Otto, from Three Men in the Basement. If you're not following them, give them a follow. He hooked me up uh, with uh, three copies of this book at a very affordable price. This was before the spike of this book. And uh, he told me they were at least nine, I believe he said nine twos or better, without a press. So, uh, and he, he was pretty much spot on, you know. So, let's take a look at this 8.5. Okay, again, I'll look at the greatest notes on this. And then, with three of these, I send in. Let's see if they put them the same way I put the order in. Yes, all right. So, here's the second one. Let's take a look at this one. 9.6. All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. I have one of these signed by Frank Miller in a 9.8, but uh, I'll take a 9.6 every day. Let's see if this is the last one. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we got here. All right. Last one. Come on, 9.8. Come on, 9.8. Bam. What? Very nice, 9.8. I believe this book now in a 9.8 is going for $1,000. So this is a great return on investment for me. Uh, this box here has done very well for me. Uh, if I were to sell everything, it's a great return on investment. Um, Ultimate Fallout 4, second print. I had pre-screened this for a 9.8, didn't come back a 9.8, kind of knew it, but took the shot anyway. Uh, got this when we went to Connecticut Comic Crawl at Uncle Frank's shop. Shout out to Uncle Frank. And uh, they gave us good prices on these. I think we got these for like $75 a piece. And um, wasn't a 9.8 pre-screen, so I'm hoping for a 9.6. 9.6. Nice. Very nice. And we got one more book. One more book. All right. You know, this is one of my go-to books. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, but this is uh, all new Marvel Now Point One. Uh, first full appearance of Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. And let's see. 9.6. This is great. I know Gary got one. These are going for like five, $600 right now. Um. Shameless plug, but if anybody's interested on my IG page, I'm raffling one of these off. The same, this is not this issue. I have another one. It's a 9.6. It's being raffled off right now um, for as cheap as six dollars a spot. You can get the opportunity to try and win one of these. So uh, if you're interested, stop by Erod 212's page and check it out. Um, so those are them. I think we did really good. Um, but you know what? Let's switch this up a little bit. Um, I appreciate the support. I do. And I know I was late last time with my 2,500 sub giveaway. Didn't get it to it. So I was 2,800 subs. So you know what? To make it up, I'm going to do a little giveaway right now. So 
let's give away this right here. And this ties uh, 250, uh, 252. Yeah, uh, ties with the main Spider-Man 252 for first appearance of the black costume. Um, you have to be subscribed to this channel. You have to hit the like button. And you have to leave a comment in the comment section on this video. And uh, I will give this one week. And then on the next video, after that week is up, so today is Wednesday, we'll go all the way to next Tuesday, following probably Wednesday or Thursday. When I drop a video, I'll announce the winner of this book right here. All right? So if you want a chance to get this, it's still a nice copy. I believe this is still like an $80 book. Shipping's on me. Um, like I said, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment. Um, and, and you know what, guys, subscribe to this channel, man. I mean, if you like the content, I was looking at my analytics the other day, and 50% of the people watching my videos aren't even subscribed to the channel. Come on, show the support. All right, guys? But, yeah, that's it. That's the giveaway uh, until my next video. Peace.